Hello everyone, this is CA Neha Agarwal from BISP Solutions and in today's video I will be explaining you about the value sets for chart of accounts. So uh, what are the steps to create a chart of account structure? First we create the value sets, then we create the COA structure and then the COA instance. And then we we'll deploy the flex fields and then assign the values to the value set. These are the steps which are uh, done to create the chart of account structure. But in today's video, we will see how to create the value sets and how to assign values to the value set. However, this task we generally perform after doing uh, these three steps. After creating the chart of account structure, creating the chart of account instance, and then we'll deploy the flex field. And then we generally assign the values to the value set. But in today's video, we'll see how to create it and how to assign the values. Moving further, what is a value set? A value set is a collection of account values that are associated with a segment of a chart of account structure and instance. When we create value sets, we have to uh, consider the following critical choices. The first one is module designation, validation type, format assignments, security rules, and value definition. So the module designation is used to tag value sets and the set, the value sets apart during upgrades and other processes. Validation type is assigned to the value set. These can be independent. The values are independently selected when filling out the segment in an account combination. There can be another type of validation type which is stable. The values that are stored in the external table to facilitate maintenance and sharing of reference data. Generally, we, we use independent validation only for the accounting key flexi fields value sets other validations which are provided by the system prevents us from using the full chart of account functionality such as the data security reporting and accounting hierarchy integration then comes the format assignment value uh, value sets of the chart of account must use the value data type of character and the value subtype as text. These two settings support values that are both numbers and characters, which are typical in the natural account segment values. The security rules in the value sets uh, can be applied if flex field data security rules are to be applied to the chart of account segment associated with the value set, then we enable the security option for the assigned value set. After doing these things, we give the value definition. Once these basic characteristics are defined in the for the value sets, value can be added to the set, which we can say as the assigning values to the value set. But what is the best practice? The best practice is to define these values after the value set have been assigned to the chart of account structure instances. So now we'll go to the instance and see how this is done in the instance, how we create the value sets in the instance. We'll follow an example uh, while creating the value sets, chart of account structure, chart of account instance. We'll use this data and we'll create the value set uh, using these data. So I'll create company department accounts as the value set and then we'll give these values to these value sets. So I'll quickly go to the instance and show you how we create the value sets. So this is our instance. From here, we'll go to setup and maintenance. And from the task list, we'll select the manage implementation project. We'll go to our project, which was Fusion Financial Project. Over here in the task, we'll search Manage 
start of counts value sets so this is the task which we have to select and we'll then select the go to task option so if our value set is already created we can search from here and to create a new one we'll click on the create icon over here we can give the value set code so as our as we were creating three value sets which was company department and account i will give the name as fusion company description is optional however you can give any description if you require we have to select the module first thing we have to do is to select the module so i am selecting the general ledger as the module then comes the validation type so i told you that we select independent then we select the value data type which is character and we have to also give the value subtype so we can give text if we want to enable the security we can click on this checkbox to enable the security then we will have to give the data security resource name also now we can provide the maximum length or the width we require for our uh, value set which is company so i am given here maximum length as 4 like our value was 1000 so 1 and 000 so four values are there so this maximum length we can provide and we can just click on the save and close to create another we'll click on create and we'll quickly create the another one in the same way, manner fusion department module is general ledger validation type independent value data type character value subtype text maximum length can be given as 3 or i'll just so we have, we have created the fusion department and we'll also create a fusion accounts as the third value set we we'll select the module as general ledger validation type independent value data type character value sub type as text and maximum length we can provide as 4 we can also set the minimum values maximum values and the we can give the details as if we required the value to be in the upper case only so we can enable this checkbox and if we want zero fill zero fill can be like if i have, if i have given a value as 10 and maximum length is 4 so two zeros will be assigned if we will select this zero fill option so this way we can also specify these details i'll just click on save and close and this way all the three value set codes have been created we can search for fusion over here and we will see all those three value sets have been created so to manage the values we'll select uh, each of those and we'll click on the manage values this way we can manage the values or assign the values to the value set we'll click on create and we'll give the value as 1000 fusion operations plus 2000 fusion service providers this was fusion productions and uh, 
third one we can give as fusion digitals. So these this denote the uh, company or the balancing segment in our segment, which we will see when we will create the chart of account structure. So this way we can assign the values. Now, uh, if you want to assign values using the task, uh, so we can select task from here. Uh, we have searched for manage chart of account value set and we like values, it's value set values. So that, uh, just a minute. This is the task, manage chart of accounts, value set values. We can also assign values through this task. So we'll click on the go to task. And over here, we can search the value set likewise. So these are the value set codes which we have created. And we have given the value to the Fusion company, which you can search from here. If you, if you click on the search, you can see all the three values which we have assigned. In the same way, we can give values to the department and accounts. So this is how we manage values. If uh, we can just click on the fusion department and click on the manage values and provide the values by giving the value and the description. So this was all about the value sets and assigning values to the value sets. Hope you have understood the same. Thank you for watching.